All right. So I'm just going to play it and then we'll talk about it. Start off with an E flat major chord. Oh. <laughs> Yo. I thought you wanted to do theory. This is your E flat major chord. And you're gonna do it with both hands, you're gonna go G, 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 E flat, B flat G, E flat, B flat G. And then you're gonna go up to here. D, 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 and then you're gonna come up here. Check it out. E flat, B flat, G flat. So you go. B flat, G flat, and then you go back to your E flat major chord. E flat, B flat, G. Okay? That's the first part. Second part, this is a complicated part. <laughs> we go G's. Fourth finger on G here. Any finger on G here, but you go G, 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 and then you're gonna go like this. This is called the chromatic scale. You're gonna play every single note coming down. So you go G, F sharp, F, E, time. Three, two, one, two, one. Okay. The next Four. part. Four. That is G sharp in their left hand, then third finger on C sharp, C, B, A sharp, A, A sharp, G sharp, C sharp, C, B, A sharp, A, A sharp. And then you go to an E flat minor chord this time, E flat minor, and you go B flat, G flat, E flat, G flat, B flat, and then G minor chord, G, B flat, D. Okay? And then you do this. I uh, know uh, I'm sick. My voice is all messed up. And you do the same thing again. Now, change this. E flat, G flat, E flat, and then you do your E flat major again. B flat, G. So that last part. E flat, G flat, E flat, B flat, G. E flat, B flat, G. Okay? So hold on. Remember, the whole thing without a 